show you how to use the close overlapping technique. And in order to do that, after you download the add-on and the description down below, you can then go onto a deck, add a card, and then click on the template that is associated with close overlapping. All right, as soon as you click on that, you'll see several of these text boxes. But what I do personally is go on to the title. Uh, for example, glycolysis. We can probably figure out what steps we want. We want to learn what steps are in order. So let's say step one is glucose. Step two is uh, G6P. Step three is F6P. I hope that's right. And so that's what it'll look like. All right. I'll show you. As soon as you click on add, there are three cards that are added. Right? As soon as you close it, you're going to then try to study it. Glycolysis, shown here, you're going to looking at the first three steps. So, first step, glucose, right? Next step, glucose 6 phosphate. And then, step three, F6P. And so, uh, as soon as you find an inclusion, uh, usually the word before that will be shown just to give you a hint. And then that's how you can kind of remember the steps of many, many pathways. Um, this is just one example, and you can do this in many cases. A lot of people kind of use this for mind mapping. I think it's really useful for that, uh, but I haven't been using it for mind mapping. I think it's a little too difficult. I'm waiting for an add-on that could work 